Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of Two Evil Eyes. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, Two Evil Eyes is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Blue Underground, and it is available for purchase at your online retailer such as Amazon. Now, as far as the movie itself goes, I've always been a big fan of horror anthologies. Creepshow, Tales from the Dark Side, and so forth and so on. And years ago, when I heard about the directing talent behind the scenes of this particular anthology, I was very excited. Dario Argento, George Romero, for me, that's a no-brainer. And when you throw in the source material of Edgar Allan Poe, you definitely get something special here. Now, I think, ultimately, they do succeed in their separate vignettes. And I really like both tales. I have to say, preferably, as far as mood and atmosphere, I prefer Romero's tale more. But uh, Argento, I think, does a great job with his, and there's a lot of visual eye candy in that particular uh, film, but I, I like it. I like it, and it's definitely, I feel as anthologies go, a little bit underrated. I would definitely rank, rank it up there among the best ones, especially if you're an Edgar Allan Poe fan. You definitely are going to find a lot to enjoy here. I like it, and revisiting this one after several years, it was, it was most welcome to see it on 4K Blu-ray. I'm glad it was given the love it deserves. Okay, we're gonna talk about the picture quality and audio in just a moment, but first, let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, we have the 4K Blu-ray slipcover edition of Two Evil Eyes. I like the cover art, it's really kinda of cool. Uh, I think Blue Underground did a great job here. And then we have the back with all the pertinent information, the spine, the interior. Some nice disc artwork. Overall, very nice presentation. Now, let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Two Evil Eyes on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has a 25 by 1 aspect ratio, native 4K resolution with HDR10 and Dolby Vision for the grading. For purposes of this review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision encode. Now for the general look of the film, I think it looks fantastic. It's free of any blemishes or imperfections in the print, and grain levels are about medium density. I find it to be very cinematic, it looks good, and the 4K scan done for this particular film looks really nice. Dolby Vision does a great job with the color grading. This movie was obviously shot in the late 80s, which you could tell by the clothing choices here, and such items as Adrian Barbeau's dress really give you a nice visual flair, the metronome used at the uh, George Romero segment in the beginning of the film. And landscape looks great, Harvey Keitel's Red Room when he's developing photographs also come across very well, and overall the color looks fantastic. Black levels are rendered very well here. There's a lot of nighttime scenes and dark interiors that look great, consistent throughout the film. I didn't have any issues with macro blocking or elevation, and overall they're very spot on. The 4K resolution does a great job squeezing out that extra bit of detail. There's a lot of practical makeup effects here that look fantastic, nicely rendered, skin textures, also clothing, they look great. Two Evil Eyes on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a Dolby Atmos audio presentation. Now this disc does include the original 2.0 track here, but I didn't find it necessary to revisit that one. I think the Dolby Atmos experience is really nice. It opens up the sound stage. There's a lot of atmospheric and just subtle sound effects that really make great use of your surround sound environment and even the high speakers get in on the action. Overall, I think it's a very nice presentation and the Atmos, in my opinion, is the way to go. Dialogue through the center channel is clean and clear. I didn't really have any issues except for the Annabelle character at the Dario Argento segment. The actress was a little bit soft-spoken here. It was difficult to understand what she was saying sometimes, but the other actress throughout the film, you could easily understand no problem. And the front speakers, they sound great. There's a good energy there, and they complement the center very well. And the mid-level and rear speakers, there's a good amount of atmosphere at play here. Whether it's water dripping at the first half of the film or some other atmospheric effect, there's a good amount of activity back there. It's fairly consistent, and I think it pulls you right into the film. And the high speakers are used to effectively convey atmosphere. They definitely complement the mid-level and rears, no doubt about it. And during a couple scenes, such as when the characters are in the basement and the doorbell rings, it sounds like it's right on top of your head. 
And when the police are investigating Harvey Keitel's house and they go up to the second floor and all that action and activity are happening, it has a good energy there. And the LFB channels sound good. They're not overly aggressive. It's appropriate for the type of movie that it is, but there aren't any hey wow moments when it comes to that department. For the picture quality, I'm gonna give Two Evil Eyes on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a solid A. Blue Underground did an excellent job with this 4K disc. The Dolby Vision grading looks terrific. Colors pop off the screen, black levels are natural, and there's a good amount of detail enhanced. I'm very pleased with the picture quality and I think you will be impressed. For the audio presentation, I'm gonna give this one an A-. The Dolby Atmos upgrade on Two Evil Eyes is excellent. This movie's all about the atmosphere and all the speakers play their part. This is a great listening experience and absolutely worthwhile upgrade on 4K. So that is my review of Two Evil Eyes on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking this up for yourself, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the disc already, I want to hear your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.